Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. When I wake up in the morning, I go pray to my God. When I come back in the evening, I go pray to my God. Always believe in something. Nothing comes from nothing. Always do my best. Only if it is to God. Are you just tuning in? Then you're right in time for On Gashos, that magazine show for the whole family that rocks your leisure time. Brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. Ongashas is that show that has something for everyone. Everyone has a favorite part, whether it's the wellness talks, whether it's the dance, the music, whether it's the celebrity or the recipes. Mm -hmm. There's something in there that you would like and you can take away. So Jim Goddess, what were you up to this week? Hmm, it was quite a lot of work actually. I'm revved up to I Watch. still haven't been able to convince you to come with me. Soon, yet. soon, soon, soon. Every week, Umi, you say soon. When is the soon come, going to be really soon? Every week it is soon. That's soon, why soon. the word is soon. It's open-ended. Anything can happen. Whatever. Anyway, let's take a look. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, everyone, to yet another episode on simple exercises you can do in the comfort of your home. Today, we are doing power knees. Power knees is an abdominal exercise that helps you work on your arms. But the beautiful thing about this exercise, it also helps you work on your arms and your legs. Here's what it looks like before you join us. Arms up, feet apart, bring your palms to your knee. Okay, this way, this way, bam. Okay, so do join us as we start. We'll do 20 reps of two sets. Play safe, move at your own pace, and don't compromise form for reps. Ready? We start with the left feet. Are we good to go? Arms up. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, switch. One, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Whew. How was wow. it? This was lovely. I yes. actually showed the bone in my arms. It was a real workout. And, and the abs too. Okay. It feels a bit of cool in the abs. So all those extra salad, you know, <laughs> round so when you assorted meat. Yes. This is how you get rid you of them. You can burn it off like this. So remember, these are simple routines you can do in the comfort of your home. Anytime you have time. 
okay? Always have water beside you so you stay hydrated, move within your comfort zone. Over time, you can increase. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Looks like you yeah. were practicing a little bit of self-defense moves. Yeah, it does look like something from, you know, maybe karate or tai chi. But it's a pretty good workout. Works out the legs, works out the arms, works out the abs. So you're actually, you know, exercising quite a number of muscle groups with that little exercise. And the great thing about the workouts that we do in the Ongashos gym is that anyone can do them at home. Most of the time we don't even use any equipment. So some people say, I don't have time to go to the gym. But we have shown everyone that you don't need a gym to work out. You can just do some of these basic exercises and you're good to go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You heard our lovely gym goddess. You can do it at home. You don't have to go to the gym. Ongashos will be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Ongashes. And right now it's time for our health focus. And today we're going to be talking about weight control in children. We discovered that we have a lot more overweight children these days, probably because they don't go as outside as much, they don't play outside as much, they're more on the tabs or on the pads or watching TV. And of course, they're eating better. Dr. Folu is on the line and she's going to be talking to us about this topic today. Hello, Dr. Folu. Hello, Umi. Hello, Falake. It's my pleasure being here again. Great. So why is weight control important for children? Weight control is important for children because children should not be too small, too thin, or too fat, so they should not be obese. It's important to stay in between because it affects their health. How can you control weight in children? Different methods are used to control weight, but the commonest ones are eating healthy, adequate exercise, stress management and adequate sleep. So what is a strict diet plan? A strict diet is a situation where people consume foods that are rich in one or two or more nutrients but deficient in one or more nutrients. For example, some people take protein diets, that means that kind of diet is very rich in protein and has little or no carbohydrates or fat, they will definitely lose weight on such diet, but it's not healthy. So how best can you help a child lose weight? What is recommended is to make children have access to different kind of foods that are healthy, but unhealthy foods should be kept away from them and they should do exercise every day. How important is healthy eating to weight control? Eating healthy is very effective in controlling weight. You see, we need to be conscious of the fact that whatever food is taken actually uh, forms the building block of the body because the food that is taken is what supplies the nutrients that are used in constructing the cells of the body. So if one is eating the correct kind of foods, then the person will be building the correct kind of cells that are strong enough to support weight control, to support weight I mean, reduction. And as long as the body is healthy, the digestive system is healthy, the body has a natural way of controlling the weight and making it to stay within the um, right range. But for children who are growing, as long as they are able to maintain the one hour of exercise, every day. They should be allowed to eat as much of the correct kind of food as they want to eat. There should be no restriction, no diet plan, and that will be effective in controlling their weight. Thank you so much, Dr. Foley. It's my pleasure being on this show. Thank you very much.
you know, as much as it is really important for children to get the, uh, you know, recommended, so to say, amount of exercise that they needed, they actually don't have time now. You find um, a home with three, four children that have schedules packed from morning till evening. Mm. So it's sitting, sitting, sitting. The only kind of stimulation they get, apart from, you know, eating is the mental stimulation when they end up either watching TV, playing those games or doing their homework. So how do you begin to counter that? Because they're sitting. Well, I don't think that is a healthy way to raise kids. Part of their schedule must be physical activity because physical activity is so important to children. So, I mean, and, and a lot of countries in the world today have reduced the hours of school because they realize that at a very early age, children need more time to play. Playing is part of development. Playing is where they learn social skills, to learn how to interact with other um, people, other children, other adults. So when you are only focused on the academic aspect, their social skills become, you know, deficient and they don't get enough activity. That's where you then begin to have them having problems with weight. I know a lot of schools now, the requirement is that for you, for there to be a school, especially primary school, there has to be a field or a playground, an open place where people can play. So it's important and what I advise people to do is one of the after school schedules should be either a sport or maybe like swimming or football or basketball or tennis or martial arts alongside other lessons because life is not just about what's in books. Life is about interaction, about building your spirit and those are things that you cannot learn just by studying. You learn them more with playing games, team building, learning how to work in a team. And it's through sports and playing that most children pick up those skills. So not only is it good for their physical health, it's also good for their mental and emotional and social health. There you go. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. Right. So when we come back, we're going to be talking to our Family Talk guest. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. There's always so much to learn on Ongashas. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. You are watching Onga Shots. And if you're tuning in now, we're in our family talk segment. And with us again is the lovely Mrs. Okweyemi Akpati. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome You're to You're welcome to the show. Thank again. you. Today we're going to be discussing diets for expecting mothers. So, um, while you're pregnant, is not the time for you to um, restrict what you're eating or to lose weight. That is not the time because you need all the nutrients that your body requires in order to provide the optimum environment for your developing baby. So mm. when we use that word diet, we're saying it's properly for a growing baby. It's also not the time to eat for two or three. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of people always say, oh, I'm eating for two. No, please. It's not correct. You're only supposed to add an extra maybe 300 calories to what you were eating before, if you were eating healthy. Not double. Because uh, that is just about, uh, I don't know, the, the amount of calories in an apple. So that's mm. what you need, you know, as So on extra. average, how many calories do we consume in a day, on average? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it varies like a range. from people to people. But for ladies, you can do... Uh, between 1,200 and 1,500 calories. Okay. You know, so when you're pregnant, you can maybe move it up to maybe about 2,000 calories okay. in a day. What should a pregnant woman eat? I mean, are there any specific things oh, that course. they need to add to their 
their food or their diet. So it's not like they're watching their weight, but there's some specific things that they need to make sure that they eat regularly or increase the amount that they eat. Of course. Um, first of all, I'll say a balanced diet, which consists of all the classes of food. Okay. Um, I can take it uh, one by one and say, first of all, vitamins and minerals are really, really important. important. Yes. Uh, you will want to, as a pregnant woman, you want to take about 70 milligrams of uh, vitamin C in a day, uh, which you can get from your citrus fruits, from your vegetables, okay? Uh, you need a lot of folic acid. You will see that a lot of pregnant women are given folic, folic acid, acid supplements, supplements. Yes. yes. Um, also, breads and grains, okay, especially whole grains are really important because that is where you get your energy from, right. from the carbohydrates. Another class of food that is really important is your protein. So things like meat, mm -hmm. fish, uh, poultry, uh, you know, turkey, eggs, they're really good for you. Is there anything that they shouldn't eat? Oh, of course. Like what? Processed foods, okay. sugary foods. I understand cravings yeah. during pregnancy. I mean, uh -huh, that's uh, a big issue. It is. <laughs> but sometimes people crave unhealthy things. What do they I then agree do with, with that you? Situation? Because I was one of such people. I remember in one of my pregnancies, I like a number of women. I was feeling nauseous, and so I used to I used to have um, saliva pool in my mouth, mm. and um, how to overcome that, I started to take sweets mm. and I realized that this was really bad. It was bad for the baby because that kind of sugar is not understanding what I know. Mm. I knew that it wasn't something I needed to do. So it was more of a mental thing. Mm. I, I realized I made up my mind I was going to stop this and I stopped it. <laughs> so let's discuss the old wives' tales. Okay. <laughs> Concerning diet, of course. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, eat a lot of pop or your child is going to come out clean. Yes. They say... Um, or they say, don't eat snail uh, because of, or anything slimy. Slimy, yeah. There you mm -hmm. go. You know, and then there's the... Um, nzu. The good thing is we live in an age where there is a lot of information. And the information has helped us to debunk almost all of these tales. Mm. And they're just basically that, tails, mm. okay? A lot of times they are unhealthy. Mm. So please, women, um, please don't, don't go to your doctor. Let your doctor advise you, all right? Mm. Please don't, don't take, uh, uh, you know, anything that could become um, dangerous, dangerous to, yourself to your health your baby. and to your baby. Mm. A lot of babies have, you know, you've, women have had babies that are deformed. We, uh, babies that have all sorts of medical challenges as a result of the things that, even some medications that yes, they consume. I was by. going to say it's very yes. important not to just take any kind of exactly. medication. Exactly. Not over the pregnant, counter. In fact, you are warned, do not yes. just go ahead and take over the counter okay. medications. It must be something that has been prescribed by, by a, doctor a doctor that knows you are pregnant. Thank wow. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. This is a question. So the old wives tales, no, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you're an expectant mother, happily pregnant, do take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm. Ongashos will be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. You're watching Ongashas, your favorite magazine show for the whole family. Right now, we have with us our guest cook, which means that food is on the way. You're welcome, Queen, Mrs. Queen Oyemizu. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. We are always happy to see our guest cook because it means that very soon the kitchen will be bubbly and our mouths will be, <laughs> you understand? Thank you so much. <laughs> so tell us, what do you do for a living? I'm a caterer. You're a caterer. Yes. So you're fully into the cooking business. Of course. 
That's amazing. And there's no need for me to ask how she got into cooking. Mm -hmm. It's her. It's her forte. Yeah. I think that's a hobby. There you go. <laughs> what were you doing before you started catering then? I wasn't doing anything. I just because of the love I have for cooking. And how's that going for you? Thank God. Well, we at the Ongasha Studio wish you so much luck with that. So the thing is, you're not just going to cook for Falake and I. There is, of course, a special person coming to join us who will aid you in the kitchen also. Falake, would you like to introduce? And now, let us welcome our celebrity guest for the week. to have you on the show. Oh, pleasure is mine too. You guys are doing wonderfully. Oh, doing thank a good you very job much. Thank for the whole world. I hope you watched the show. Uh, yes, I've seen it once, I must tell you, and um, uh, I thought it's something that comes on steady in that particular thing. I didn't know you have uh, several stations, but uh, from today, I'll be watching out for more. I really enjoyed myself that day. Thank you. This is a beautiful lady. Her name is Queen. Are you giving me, giving her to me to marry? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, because most she's... of you have seen my outing. I love women so much. <laughs> I don't, I don't hide it. <laughs> Especially this one is my size. Every. Unfortunately. Eh? Mrs. The program Queen. does not allow no. it. Well, we, we won't mind teaching you, but she's already taken. Eh? I can pay that remark. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> so, sir, the Ongashos research team took a trip somewhere. We would like you to have a look at the screen. Oh, please. come on. The city of Newi hosts the largest spare parts market in West Africa and the third largest in the world. Undeniably an industrial hub and the second largest city in Anambra State. The city boasts of high level of commercial and industrial activities with banks and other financial institutions dotting its landscape. The present reigning monarch is His Royal Highness Igwe Kenneth Oyeneke Orizu III. Newe is a very big town, very hard working people, made up of four communities. The history of Newe, they come from different places. That's why you have these communities. Newe, like most Igbo communities, has cultural practices that goes back as far as the history of the town itself. Which you can testify to it in the palace here. That place, when you look inside it, you will see two seats. These two seats are meant for two people. Whoever is in the throne here, and whoever is in the throne in Bini, because we have connection with the Bini people. 
and an intricate part of the culture are traditional festivals, of which Nnewi has several remarkable ones. The one that we appreciate so much is the Safiola. What is Safiola? You have farmed. You want to call those people that help you during that farming to entertain them. That's the meaning of Afiolo. Festivities are never complete without celebrators treating themselves to a feast of sumptuous meals. And one of the favorite delights is the Olubu soup. Apple with Olubu. That's bitter leaf. This Olubu soup is highly delicious and uh, it is cooked in most homes in this part of the country and mostly in marriage ceremonies. You must find this Olubu soup. Maybe when you are a new wife, they normally test you with that vitamin C. And if you don't get it, you are in trouble. Also an agrarian community, Newe is known for its vibrant auto industry. Its motorcycle spare parts market is well known throughout West Africa. There is also a new auto plant, the first of its kind in Nigeria. With an interesting blend of culture, relentless industry, and of course, its sumptuous cuisine, Newe is a stimulating town to visit. Wow. Yes. Agriculture, industry, all packed into one place. Yes. How did seeing the video make Ah, uh, they just got it all. So you can see where the uh, real commercial center is. You see all two mobiles in form of uh, machines. In fact, uh, the machine, ladies and machine, if you are married out and you are not given machine as uh, a gift from your home, that means you've not been settled. Whoever, like a motorbike? Whoever, yes, machine, mm. they call it a one in Newe. So did you grow up in Newi, sir? Of course, yes. Schooling? Everything about me is in Newi. My mother is in Newi. My father is in Newi. I grew up. My grandmother is also in Newi. So what do you think of? Wow. I, I went That's to... That's a true son of the yes. soil. Yes, true son of the soil. And wow. um, uh, Okungu Memorial Grammar School. It's not community school, grammar school. Grammar school. That's where I studied for my primary secondary school, uh, except for my... <clears throat> University. I went to University of Nigeria and Soka. Mm. But each time we're on holidays, I'm back home. Baby. Can you say something in your local dialect to our viewers at home as a son of Newi? Newi Quen! As for Newi Quen! 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 Mm. Uh, 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 Depends on you who is taking counts. I mm. have done over 100. Do you remember any favorites though? Well, maybe the one I taught uh, my family one song. Uh, it's popular to Aki and Popo. <laughs> uh, if you people remember that. Uh, uh, when I was summoned by my children, uh, they told me about uh, a lady, their mistress or miss, I don't know what they will call them now. <laughs> Glady was a very beautiful woman mm. that I check in, check out. I say, these children, I can correct this thing later. And I face the woman. <laughs> when I raise a song, Glady, yeah, 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 yeah. Glady, mm -hmm. That is the song that won <laughs> the woman for me. Wow. Glady, yeah, 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 yeah. Gladi mama Gladi Woman caught fancy and begin to love me. Wow. So from there the relationships began. You know? Then there's one stubborn girl there, a character too, Docas. <laughs> so when 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 I got everything and began to enjoy this lady. 
The cast became my problem, a bone in the flesh. Mm. Because my children were no longer finding it funny. How can their father be sent to correct the teacher? And uh, suddenly, everywhere turned, um, ah. So the cast will always come. Each time I want to show love to my love, my baby girl, mm -hmm. uh, they will start singing. Bokasi is a queen, yeah, a queen, yeah. Bokasi is a queen, yeah. Oh, Bokasi is a queen, yeah. Bokasi is a queen, yeah. Yes, yeah. Queen is here to cook for us. Mm -hmm. We know. You especially. But there's a little, seeing as you've had an array of women, I'm sure once or twice you've had calls to help them in the kitchen. Yes, and also it's uh, in our place to cook for all and sundry. If you come across my place, you must enter and you must eat. Mm -hmm. So Queen should know that cook in large quantity. There is food always in the house. No, 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 sir. You have to help her in the kitchen. I don't mind. But uh, Queen, let's go cooking okwa. Okwa is also a good delicacy mm. that people enjoy, especially in the evenings. Mm. Eh? Mm -hmm. When men retire from hard work, we give them okwa. It's a good one. Are you prepared for that one? Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's go into the kitchen now. All right, Ongashos will be back in a few minutes while we prepare to go into the Ongashos kitchen. Stay tuned. Introducing the new Onga ginger, onion and garlic powder seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you are watching Ongashas. We're in the Ongashas kitchen with Queen and amazing Mr. Amechi. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be making okwa. Okwa. Bread okwa fruit. is a breadfruit. Yeah. Yes, it's made from breadfruit and it's a delicacy from Newi. So Queen is going to take us through all the ingredients that you require to make this. And you can actually try your hands at it and make it at home. So Queen, can you just let us know what we're going to use to make this dish? Uh, we're going to prepare okwa, which is called breadfruit in English. It's a kind of proteinous food, just like beans, but better than beans, because this one does not contain any preservative like beans. Mm. It's natural. Okwa. Yeah, it is okay. called okwa. Okay. Yeah. okay. And we have dry fish to go with it. Fish also is protein. We have stock fish to add some flavor to it. And we have eru. 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 This is African nutmeg. Ah. It's called African nutmeg in English. Okay. And our onion. Have our big crayfish to oh. add flavor also. Some people call it oporo. Oporo. Okay. Have our fresh pepper for flavor too. A crayfish. Rounded crayfish. crayfish. Yeah. This is called cow potash. And we have a hunger cube. Of course. And red oil to go with it. Queen, can we watch that? Can we So that is washing yeah. hands, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. OK, here we go. I wash my hands too. So what's the first step we need the to do? The first step is to get the pot and reason it. OK. Here you are, sir. Mm -hmm. So, the very nutritious meal. I like the fact that you spoke about the, being a natural so form of protein. Yes. That's the first thing we do in preparation of okwa yes. is to wash it thoroughly. Okay. Make sure that it does not 
contain any sound. Uh, if it's thoroughly washed, you yes. cannot uh, pick sand, sand in while it. eating it. Right. So it's gotten from inside the breadfruit. You scoop it out, or is it from the seed of the breadfruit? It's the seed, actually. Okay. Uh, which is another long process because okwa na bulu go dalongwe like an Igbo adage says, mm. it will fall naturally. You don't plug Take it. it. Yeah. When it's ready, it falls by itself. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to learn Igbo by force today. Uh, I am prepared. I will give you anyone that you don't understand. I will teach you. Okay. Hey. Hey. If you're a goat, don't play go under the okwa tree. Because mm. from there, one, you know, it doesn't give sign. You can I'll go. Fall at any time. So it becomes an adage to enable, ah. warning you uh, not to look for trouble. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the idea. Does it go on the fire immediately? Yes, immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me put this on for you. Okay, there you go. On gas. <laughs> on gaseous gas. On gaseous gas. <laughs> That's so, a good one. First step is to wash and put the aqua on the yes. fire. So what's the next step? We're going to break some of them. Eru, that is the African nutmeg. Okay. To add flavor to the aqua. What do you need for that? For flavor. Okay, you to need break it, yes, I'll okay. need more. Please, let us roast it. Okay, yes. you want what to roast it so the... Breaking. How do you do that? You want to put some fire? Put some, yes, on the fire. Yeah, I'm welcome. Ah, so this is how you roast the iru. You can also break it before roasting. That one you fry it in a pot or frying pan. So what else can we do while we're waiting for that? How long does this take? You have to keep an eye it on it. It doesn't take much time. Okay. Wow. I'm sure at home they do this in the on the local stove. Yes. 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 Charcoal. Charcoal. Yes. You just put it on that. These days, we made, we made everything easy. Yes. Mm. That's good. When you see our aged mothers, sometimes yes, says, can you put on the fire? Okay. smoke from um, uh, firewood will, will make them cry. Yeah. You see them doing like this. Needing do. And yeah. that's how they uh -huh. right? Yes. Good meals, you have to put some energy. Effort, effort. Oh, yes, energy to come out. Mm. It's okay. Wow. Can smell it already. Mm. It has a nice flavor. Yes. You can also use it for pepper soup. Yes, it reminds me, the smell reminds me of An issue the smell of pepper soup. Yes, it can as well be used in cooking pepper soup, mm. especially for the newly. Yeah, yeah the just the yes. Yes. And this year, we will be. That's interesting. Our kitchen. Can I depend on that? You'll be doing some other thing. Thank you so okay. much. Thank people you, sir. are hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. So, while the pounding is going on, we can remove the fish head because of bone. Mm -hmm. What do you need me for? I need to it? soak my soft fish. You want to soak it? In cold water. Warm water, cold water? Cold water. Cold water, okay. So we are soak soaking our stock fish? Yes, leave it in the water. And then cleaning, I should leave it in the water. Yes. All right. And clean out the fish. We don't want any bones in this particular meal. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help with? What about the crayfish? Remove the slice head. The okay, onions I should remove the head, the head and slice the onions. Okay, let me start with this. And our ekpa is, is boiling. <coughs> so let me continue with this while she does that. Very nice. Hmm. When I was so very small and my mother is doing this kind of thing, he would give me small to eat. So give me small. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It's not harmful. This is a lot of fun. Mama, I'm learning a lot today. Let's check the uh, You want to check the, the okwa. Okwa. It has boiled. Okwa. All right. It's boiling. Now we need to add a little 
of touch. Tiny bit. Just a bit. It's been fun so far. We're preparing our meals and our ingredients and we'll soon start tossing them up together. We have to go on a break now. When we come back, we're going to continue the process of making our okwa. So, see you next Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Mm. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. You're still watching Ongashes. And we're in the kitchen with Queen making upa. It's been really interesting so far. Mm -hmm. Spent a lot of time preparing all the ingredients, washed our fish, washed, cleaned out our crayfish, and we've been pounding the African nutmeg. Yes. What's it called? Eru. 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 Yeah. yeah, so we're almost done. I'm just chopping up onions, and we're about to start throwing everything into the pot. Our okwa is boiling. It's almost ready for us to mix up. So what are we doing next? We'll see Adam found the pepper with the nut, the African nutmegs. Okay. The so fresh the pepper. Pound pepper with the nutmegs. Awesome. Wow. Okay. So how much of pounding do we need to do? Does it need to be completely fine or it can be a little bit rough? A little bit rough. A little bit rough. But for the nutmeg, it must be smooth. The nutmeg has to be pounded smooth. Smooth, yeah. Okay. Pepper can be rough. But the pepper can be rough. All right, so we have our onions here. Ooh, tearing up a bit. Wow. I think it can actually be blended, I mean. Yes, it uh, can. Make it easier, you can blend have, it. I hope you haven't forgotten about this. No, okay. I haven't. So, so we'll now check our work and see how it's doing. Okay. I'll need a spoon. Sure. So when you boil it, you don't put anything in it except a little bit of potash. No yes, salt, no, no seasoning no. for now. No way. If you add it salt tonight, it won't be done again. It won't get boiled. So that's something to note. Don't add salt until it's already soft. Yeah. While we're waiting for our upa to get soft, we're going to go into our audience. And Umi is right there with us. Hi, Umi. Hey, Falaka. How are you doing? We're good. I've been just in here. I've met a couple of um, nice people in our audience like um, Emmanuel from Edo State, Mr. Tim here from Lagos and a very special young lady called Peace. I want you to tell the ladies and gentlemen with so many wives in the Ongashos kitchen to hurry up. <laughs> Now I know why you hide in the audience when I'm in the kitchen. It's, it's so, so much, much fun. fun. It is. Yes, I it have is. Um, another person here who wants to ask a question. Uh, what is your advice to the upcoming actors in the industry that wish to be like you? So you want us to put water in uh, Well, uh, the advice is um, you first and foremost uh, ask yourself whether you are actually meant to become an actor. So if you are really serious, you must be down to earth and be determined. You have no job, but once you get enrolled and you are very serious, you must know your area and you pick it up from there. That's what I can tell you. Thank you so much for that, sir, and for your patience with all our questions and comments. Palake, back to you. What's happening in the kitchen? Yeah, so right now we're washing the fish and um, Queen wants us to boil it a little bit before we put it into the pot, isn't it? So yes. we put our stock fish in some water and we're also washing our smoked catfish and we're going to boil that a little bit before putting it into the pot. We also added a bit more water to the um, upa so that it can, we can get some of the water to drink as it's a custom 
when eating upa is to drink the water mm -hmm. that was used to boil it. That's what we've been up to at the moment. In the meantime, sir, I want to ask you about music. Music? Yes. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? Ah, I go for traditional music. We have a very versatile band and they play almost any music on the face of the earth. Look for idols, Sadebe. Now, I think we're about to take well. out some of the water of the aqua. Okay. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> okay. So this is the water that this you is drink the water. with it. Yes. Ah. As you eat, you scoop the water. You go see how delicious it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. So what are we doing now? We add the starfish. All the ingredients. So now we're ready to add all the ingredients to the ukwa. That's okay. the stock fish being added. The dry fish. And the oporo. Oporo, a kind of crayfish. Highly protein. They pounded them, um, African nutmeg and um, pepper. Our onion. Okay. The sliced onions. Onions, they say it is good for the eyes. Exactly. A bit of salt. Be not careful much. when you are putting salt, you put <coughs> to taste. Mm. Yeah. Red oil, you don't forget that. No. Red oil is good for vitamin E. It's mm. actually good for the eyes. Yes, we are very correct, sir. Yes. 
Just a little, not too much of it. Just a little oil. Okay, and two queens, say a little. Okay. Can I add more hunger? So you want to add your hunger cube now? Okay. It's okay. That's okay. Okay. Our grounded crayfish. Grounded crayfish. So we to test. You want to taste? Can I test? Mm. Take yes, give me to taste. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to be at the dining table, eating our delicious okwa. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Introducing the new Onga ginger onion and garlic powder seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sauce. Onga. Onga, mama's helping hand. Back and we're at the dining table. We're already digging into this delicious meal. And um, Umi is not waiting for me. She's already eating. <laughs> but I mean, we're all here and we can't wait to taste what it tastes like. Okay, so let's have a taste. Mmm. Said it's very good for people who are on a special diet, diet like diabetics. Yes. yes. Mm. Yeah. And is very it okay nice. if the children can children eat it as ah, well? Ah, very nice for children. Mm. <coughs> have you tested? Job. Have you tested the water? Take a gulp and take take taste it. So how do you drink the water with the upma? Mm, you have this first in your mouth. Okay. Mm. Like this. Then you take a spoon of the water. I'm trying to get used to the taste to me. You mm -hmm. tried it? Mm -hmm. I took a spoon earlier on while we were on break and I felt an urgent need to actually spice it up. But I resisted. Yes. Don't worry, it will come up. Maybe off. this is the traditional way of eating it. Maybe some other people may actually want to. This is a the way it's made. This is the way it's made. All those things that they, they put and bring out uh, in the market. Can kill person so. mm. This is the real way. Mm? So in here, I can see stockfish, crayfish, dried fish, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the ukwa. Yep, ukwa. So what else went into it? A little bit of um, sliced onions, the sliced onions, the African nutmeg, mm. and some pepper, fresh pepper, okay. palm oil. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It seems the spicing and um, the seasoning of the meal was done very, very moderately. Yes. And nothing is overpowering. There isn't too much pepper, there isn't too much salt, there isn't too much of uh, the African nutmeg. It's just... Everything is just in there. there. Yes. And that is what is good for your body. Not too you much of anything. <laughs> just bad. a little bit. Mm. Too mm. much of everything is not good. How yes. would you rate this meal, sir? Queen. Mm, I give her eight five percent because I have not seen my stockfish well here. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I wasn't in that kitchen, I would say maybe you cornered it for Please, a Please, give us a hundred and take my stockfish. I think uh, I have stockfish yes, here, but we want a score of a hundred. Okay, because you are all my children, be eating first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, that's it for today, and I'm sure you don't want us to go, but don't worry. We'll be back here again, same time, same station, 
next week. Make sure you try this out at home. Not every day the same food. Do something different. And you can tag us in on it when you try out this meal. Let's know how it went. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who made this possible. Thank you, sir, for gracing the Ongasho studio and our kitchen today. Our dear queen, well done. I've learned how to make fukba from you. I'm definitely going to try it out at home. My dear co-host, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been lots of fun. Our amazing and warm audience and the beautiful Spice Band. We thank everybody. We would like Mr. Amechi to say good night in his local dialect. I can't say good night in his local dialect. I can't say good night in his local dialect. So thank you.